Hey everyone, welcome to Empty Shield today with us, the one and only Da Vinci. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm in the pipe five by five, staying alive here in Dubai. How are you doing today, man? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. I just literally flew to Dubai last night, so my brain is a big mesh, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm here with you. Can't wait to have a good laugh. It's going to help for sure. We always have fun with the news and I'm sure this time will be no different. So let's go for it. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Guys, you know the drill. This happens literally every week. Destroy that like button because it does help indeed. And hey, subscribe to the channel as well. Cool. So Bitcoin NFT or Bitcoin ordinals, as they call them, are actually now accessible through new wallet, which basically is going to allow people to see that ordinals, right? Yeah, I was wondering how that was working because I know that there was no wallets, like you're not going to be using MetaMask for this. So what were you going to use? So I have, I guess we have now the wallets that are going to be connecting to Marketplace that um, support NFTs on uh, on Bitcoin. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's amazing how the NFTs on Bitcoin is going nuts. People will come approaching me to, to, to buy these NFTs are thousands of dollars worth ordinals, right? I'm like, what the? Why? Yeah, they are indeed exploding. I was actually reading also on, uh, you know, the D-Gods. They actually just migrated from Solana to the Ethereum ecosystem. But now they are moving also into Ordinals. My take will be, you know, on, on Bitcoin, you actually have everything on chain. So are you saying that even the, the image data is on chain? It is, yeah, 100%. Yeah, in the block, everything. No. It is forever in the blockchain. That's insane. Yeah, since they increased the block size to 4 megabyte to 3.99 something, now it is possible to store everything. So that's why I think people are going nuts. Some people are saying, oh, it's kind of congesting the Bitcoin network. But other people are saying, yeah, but there is a reason why. Plus the blocks are never full anyway. It's an interesting debate. But yeah, uh, from an NFT perspective, it is superior. I mean, I think... I don't think so. Here's mm -hmm. why. You could use a hash, right? Mm -hmm. That represents the, the image. And that hash right, which is a shorter number, will always equal the image. Technically, you could generate another image that has the same hash, right? And say, well, they're the same. But, you know, um, if, if the NFT collection is popular, people will know that this that hash belongs to this particular asset. So it is um, an interesting thing, right, that, that they don't uh, do hashes. Okay, the, there is no way that uh, someone could create multiple point hashes so it says okay well this now that hash equals this uh, asset here but how much of a problem is that really you're going to own two assets big deal nobody cares that you have the same that has the same hash but it's a different image it's not important so because it's not important how important is it to to have the whole data on the blockchain i think it's just novelty personally that's all it is, and that's why it's there. And so, and then there's always the the people who the the uh, maxis they want to get in the NFTs, and they have they had a chance to get into NFTs, and now they do. It's an interesting debate for sure, uh, even from a let's say Bitcoin perspective. So now we are talking about a Satoshi, which has an inscription into it. So yeah, it's definitely interesting. I I see I can see argument from both sides. So one is like, well, the block is not full, so who care? We can use it. But then it's not going to be as practical as Ethereum. It's going to probably cost a lot of money. You have to run your own node. I mean, pff, that's probably why people are going crazy because it's like so specific and difficult to obtain, you know, as much as NFTs mm -hmm. yeah. a few years ago. And speaking about marketplaces, okay, this is insane. So apparently OpenSea has realized they are not the only one in town. So there is a Blur rival marketplace. They're only like 12 months old, but they are killing it. So now they're saying, ouch, you know, we're not the only fish in town. What can we do to make people more happy to come to us? So there is this kind of marketplace battle on royalties, on fees. And, you know, when there is competition, technically the customer always wins, right? Because the companies are fighting to each other to give us more and more. But this one I thought it was interesting for a couple of reasons. So, well, of course, now, as you remember, OpenSea has said no more royalties, which it was a complete crazy news, if you ask me. <laughs> just like really taking away royalties then they kind of started to say well maybe but not for everybody so we're gonna change it and now they are saying well if your collection was older than a certain date which is january 2023 so this january we are going to allow you to have royalties but if the collection is new you have to use our old tool to enforce royalty on chain they're making a big fuss basically to say 
that they don't want to do it anymore. And now those other marketplaces are saying, well, you know what? We're not doing that. So now all those kind of different ideas are coming on the table to, to try and, and fight in the market. And apparently this Blur marketplace is, is doing very well. I actually have some numbers in here and they basically said that the total trading volume for the month of February alone has already hit 450 million. Insane. Wow. Insane. Wow. So they are indeed coming for the throne, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess it's going to be interesting to see how this is going to play out. Uh, for an, for an, um, a marketplace that I've never heard of, right? Coming out of nowhere. If you're making that kind of money, moving that kind of money around, you're gonna you're gonna take a small percentage of that, um, at least a couple million, right, out of that. So, it just makes sense that um, that uh, yeah, this is not going away. They're not gonna pop away. They have a lot of like um, high end celebrities that are that are endorsing it at the bottom there. You can see that and celebrities that are a part of this product. So so yeah. Yeah, interesting. I mean, I would have bathed on other ecosystem or other marketplaces, mm-hmm. but hey. It is what it is. So interesting. Good for them. They are yeah. making a killing. And check this out. Remember Starbucks that we cover the kind of membership in NFTs? Mm-hmm. Those things are selling for $2,000 each. Yeah. What? Well, I'm <laughs> sure they don't have too many of them. So <laughs> they launched an ODC initiative on the Polygon network. And basically, they are now saying that beta has started. Maybe it's the hype in the beginning. Uh, they, they don't actually yeah. say how much it costs to buy one in here. But two thousand dollars each. The, this is Starbucks name brand, and then they the for that's associated with a very large company. Um, because if they make a, another collection, this is the classic, right? Uh, you know that has the least amount, and so yeah, no matter how many collections, this one will be the number one collection of um, of Starbucks, basically. As many other people, they are promising a lot of things coming with the benefit of the membership. But then, hey, you know, hopefully they'll be able to deliver. Because according to this other news, which is fascinating, GQ now joins the list of companies exploring the NFT space. So they're planning to release a 1,661 pieces. It's going to be a generated by algorithm collection. And apparently they'll have a over under traits. So it's not going to be a VFT. I was waiting for that VFT of the week. <laughs> but... Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to be called Change is Good. And so far, it looks very interesting because they are going to give those subscribers or whoever purchased the NFT a bunch of interesting things. So there's going to be a merchandise. There's going to be a party in New York City. So you'll, you'll have an invitation to a party. Then some merchandise. So a merchandise box. Probably have a hat or a jumper or a T-shirt. I don't know. But yeah, it looks like they are doing things so far so good. The price will be 0 20 ETH. More or less three hundred and thirty dollars at today's prices. Yeah, you know, many people have done this before, but then when it comes to promise all those things, they never happen. Well, um, I mean, it's one of those things. That they're they're new to the space, so um, you know, the people who are advising them are probably not uh, not very well um, educated as well, or don't know what to do in this space. That's to be expected, but. I can bet since we're just one company after the other is just adding their own NFT collection, I'll bet that by 2024, when the next bull run, every single corporation will have some sort of NFT that they're they're showing off, they're trying to, to sell to the public because the NFT craze is just too mo- too cash lucrative, right? Especially when you have the royalties on, it's just going to be um, a big thing. So this is why, you know, a lot of... um platforms are coming out here because this is this is just the tip of the iceberg wait until large companies get involved and you know they start um, you know producing their own nfts oh boy i completely agree with you also i think it's fascinating to see some of these brands doing really well like nike adidas and others doing so poorly like porsche <laughs> for example mm-hmm. you know and it's interesting to see, and I wonder if they'll be able to redeem themselves back from those, quote, failures, because at the end of the day, it's, it's like, it's another way to expose your brand. Like, I mean, if you play cool, oh, we want to go with the Web3 and NFTs, and you miss completely, like National Geographics, for example, how do you come back from that? And can you come back from that? Do you think people will forgive? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, 
uh, uh, it's early stages, right? Um, in, in the NFT world, so there's always going to be people who make uh, like complete blunders. Like I don't know, uh, Game of Thrones. Oh <laughs> 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 man! And so yeah, and and so it's just going to be normal for now. The blunders, and then they're just going to come back stronger, right? These Porsche probably might come back hard, heavy, and do it right. The right way but you know what because it's such a new industry it's really difficult to find employees that are actually able to um, produce this uh the, the the result that they want so at the end of the day it's a new technology like you said so if you don't know how to use it or how to leverage from it and you just wing it it's not gonna work i can see these kind of web3 consultancy rising up when the web came in people mm -hmm. didn't know what to do online uh, all those strategies Exactly. Which links very well with this news. So YouTube has a new CEO and he's bullish on Web3 and NFTs. And he says that he's going to allow creators to connect deeply with their following. And I could not agree more. NFTs are going to be an instrument for creators, celebrities to become more connected with their following. It's just like a collectible with a winning lottery experience. Mm -hmm. He was CPO previously. So he knows about the product, which is super interesting. And with Susan stepping down, I think last week, he's basically saying, well, we're going to explore and see what NFTs and Web3 can, can offer to our communities, which it, I think is great. And like you said, this shows how early this is, you mm -hmm. know, if those companies like Google, they are kind of now starting to explore into these things. Phew, my goodness. <laughs> there it is there it is just like i said i mean by 2024 i said i'm gonna say it again we won't be able to put count on your hands how many companies don't have an nft project <laughs> completely agree i mean not even mentioning the the easy wins like ticketing for example if you want to buy a ticket mm -hmm. like important documents identities weddings and all those things they're going to go down to that route so collectible in general i mean every other day i read about a new company saying Oh, we should explore the collectible and digital and all those stuff. Gaming, pff, it's going to be massive. It is super early days and we are just seeing the beginning of the iceberg for sure. Yes, going to be interesting times coming up. Uh, yeah, it could actually turn into scary times, but hopefully not because you know what? The NFTs, although um, you know, with soul bound tokens and all that kind of stuff uh, connecting it to you, um, yeah, it could uh, turn into a nightmare. Uh, it's all up to us, basically. If we let the government get away with it, it can be a nightmare. But if we say no, I think it will, everything will be fine. And this will be the best thing. NFTs and crypto will be the best thing for the human race. So I'm looking forward to that. Da Vinci, thank you so much again for giving us your yeah. time. Guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Cheers.